Wow, that dish was delicious. The meat was tender, the carrots were sweet, and the potatoes complemented the dish very well. Up next, we transition from one steward to the next by introducing you to Justice Stewart and his chicken, cashews, and mango dish. Take a look. Today on Neighborhood Chefs, we're here with Chef Justice. Hi, how are you? Hi, you Fine, thank you. Tell us a little bit about yourself. Well, I grew up in Long Island City, Queens. Um, I worked construction for the last 10 years, and I've always been cooking. I've been cooking since I was younger. I left the nest early, and um, ever since then, it's just like I'm a home cook, but I'm also a gourmet cook. Okay. On free time. Nice. So what are you making for us today? Uh, I'm going to make a pepper chicken with mango, cashew, and rum, and um, with basmati rice. Mm, okay, so take us through that. Okay, so um, the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to show you how to um, cut a mango properly. Which you know, the mango has um, big flat seeds. So what you want to do is, um, you see it's thinner going this way. And what you want to do is take the knife and you want to go right along that seed. right with the grain. The rest of this, you may have a little bit here, but it's mostly seed. Mm -hmm. This whole thing is seed. And if we, we want to cube, if we want to cube this, um, so what you do is, let me move this for the canvas. You gotta be careful with your fingers when you're doing this. Yeah, we don't want no fingers in the Exactly. Now I already have some cut there, I just want to show you how to okay. cube it without trying to cut straight through the middle, which you can't do. Mm -hmm. Do the same thing with this one. Now you want to do this with two um, small mangoes or one large one. Mm -hmm. Now you need cilantro stems, which gives the chicken flavor. Um, when you're gonna cook this with the chicken first before you add any um, cilantro leaves or stems or anything mm -hmm. like that. So you wanna finally chop these. And you need three large garlic cloves. What you want to do next is um, you want to get a skillet mm -hmm. and you want to take a tablespoon of oil, mm -hmm. olive oil, about a tablespoon, and you want to heat that up. So now you need um, about a pound and three quarters of chicken thighs, slicing the one inch cubes, mm -hmm. and you need uh, three tablespoons of rum, dark rum. Uh, you need a teaspoon and a half of um, cider vinegar. And you need brown sugar, cayenne pepper, and black pepper mixed together. And you need cilantro leaves. Now what we're gonna do first, we're gonna, um, we're gonna take this spice mix of brown sugar, mm -hmm. um, cayenne pepper, and black pepper. And we're gonna saute it in the pan after it gets hot. Okay, we're gonna let that get hot. Mm -hmm. And we're gonna take a half a cup of cashews. About a half a cup. Mm 
and we're going to let the spice mix cover it. Yeah, you want to brown the cashews a little bit, you know, um, just let them gather the, the pepper mix around it and everything. Um, yeah, you want to brown. And that takes generally how long? This takes about two, two minutes, three minutes. You don't want to overcook them. But you want the, the pepper to, you know, that's going to give the, the food some spice. Could you make it with other nuts or is it like Yeah, you can use whatever nuts you want. I mean, I would prefer cashews. Uh, these nuts just fit it. They just fit the dish because of the rum. You know, with the rum, they go with the rum for some reason. Mm -hmm. The almonds are fine. They don't. No. no. <laughs> okay, so now what we want to do is get a bowl and... Put the cashews to the side. Now you see the cashews are getting pretty brown. So which one to I'm gonna take these. I'm gonna put them in a bowl. Mm -hmm. All right. Now you're gonna put these to the side for later. And what I want to do is take a paper towel, mm -hmm. wipe this right out, and you can get it right back on the flame with two more tablespoons of olive oil. And um, you want to cut up some scallions, a third of a cup. A third of a cup would probably be about maybe two, two large scallions. Now you're going to put the cilantro stems mm -hmm. and the scallions in together. Okay. I'm going to get this fire down a little bit. Mm -hmm. I'm going to burn it. I'll let that cook for like one minute. All right. So now you want to cook the, you want to put the chicken and the garlic in at the same time after you simmer this for a minute or so. Mm -hmm. You do want to make sure the garlic is chopped up fine. So now we want to get the chicken in. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it has, it's going to be a mix of sweet, salty, savory. So now I prefer to use chicken thighs because uh, of the fat on them. You know, it's more flavorful mm -hmm. once the sauce cooks and salty. And you're going to get your chicken in, and you want to let the chicken cook maybe 12, 13 minutes, but you do want to cook it until it's done. Yeah, the scallions with the garlic, along with the garlic. The garlic, yeah. yeah. So you want to let this cook for about maybe 12 minutes, 13 minutes, let the chicken, let the chicken cook for a while, and then we'll move on to the next step. Yes, and also we like to throw a little bit of sea salt. Not too much, because everybody doesn't like too much salt, but just a little bit. Okay, so now we're going to let this cook for about... 12 minutes until the chicken is done, and then we'll move on to the next step. Okay, okay so now we're going to put the finishing touches on this. The chicken is cooking. What you want to do now, you want to do this. You want to add three tablespoons of rum, mm -hmm. but be careful because it will flame up in your face. Then we're going to let that reduce some.
smell it? Yes, I do. I gotta let that reduce for a minute or two. Mm -hmm. It smells rum. And the rum I use has like hints of vanilla in it. So. You said dark rum. Yeah. Why specifically? Uh, I mean, you can use light rum, but the dark rum is, is going to have more of a stronger flavor than the light rum. Okay. And I chose the new Bacardi. You don't want to give my advertisement, but I choose I chose the new Bacardi because it has the hints of vanilla in it, so it gives it a whole other flavor mm -hmm. to the food. Okay. So now that chicken's about done. Mm. Yeah, that's... <laughs> So now once the rum reduces some, um, the next step makes it just pretty easy. You want to remove it from the heat. smell of vanilla, right? Okay, now you want to add the cashews that have the peppery seasoning on them. You want to add um, a half a cup of cilantro leaves. And you want to add the two tomatoes that you cut up. That looks really good. And you want to add some cider vinegar. Only a teaspoon and a half of that. Mm -hmm. What we're going to do here, we're going to toss this all off. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh, it smells phenomenal. You can either serve this over rice. I have basmati rice. And now, if you want to taste, okay, we're going to add some basmati rice. Would you really good rice if you never had it? I was just about to ask you. Yeah, it's really good rice. Mostly used in India, Middle East. Mm -hmm. And you like cashews. Thank you. Sweet, savory, mm -hmm. spicy, all at the same time. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this is delicious. Tastes everything, but it's not. It's not overwhelming. No one flavor is standing no, out more than the is other. It's perfect. Perfect. This is delicious. Wow, I've never tasted anything like this before. It's yeah. really good. Thank you. Mm. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs>